Well, this is Gardener's Cottage on the North Norfolk coast in Blakeney. We're going to take you inside now and show you around the cottage. So we're in through the front door, greeted by the staircase going up onto the top landing. And the entrance hall, we've got coat rack in here, mirror, panelling on the walls. A short corridor takes you to a split and we're going to go left first and show you one of the features of Gardener's Cottage which is this really lovely large kitchen, dining, entertaining spaces. So let's just walk you around here and show you some of the features that are on offer for you. This large central island unit on the back here you've got all the storage with drawers, pots and pans, cutlery in the top, shelf units in the centre, Got a double butler sink with mixer taps, more storage on the front here. Unit on the end is your uh, fitted dishwasher. On the back wall of the kitchen you've got your wine fridge, cupboards with more storage and a low dresser with lamp and a music speaker dock. The door there goes through back to the front of the house and the snug kitchen. Also in this area you've got a small table with three Lloyd Loom chairs for coffee in the morning. Those patio doors, the keys are provided so that in summer can be thrown open, the double doors open fully and you've then got access directly into the garden area and you can see there we'll take and show you later the barbecue and the outside eating area. Come back into the main kitchen area again. We've got this vintage shabby sheet style shop fitting which again gives you further storage and a work surface with your electric kettles, toasters and above that we've got the plate racks with some of the vintage china that you will use while you're here at Gardeners. There's another set of French doors here at the back of the room which again with keys in can be opened to give you access onto the garden area. If we just show you through there. There we go, dog friendly. Plenty of them with us today as we do the setup on gardeners. Coming back into the room, you'll see that massive table. That's 10 foot long, painted farmhouse style table with anchor back chairs. Again, shabby sheet distress paint finish. That comfortably seats 12 to 14. There is an additional table in the corner here with chairs that can be brought across to take the seating right up to 14. That's your Wi-Fi central hub and above it on the back wall you've got the little collection of coronation mugs because this cottage is located on back lane and between back lane and the high street is coronation lane where the entrance to the cottage comes. You've got two large sofas at the end of this room with a coffee table in between and hidden in that cabinet there is your TV for this room with a games console and DVD player and a selection of DVDs. Got a further dresser here with some of the vintage china candelabras for setting the table. You're welcome to use all those. And on the back of this room you've got the third patio door going back through into your courtyard area, which is lovely in evening. It gets the evening sun, this. I see it's full of roses, wisteria, bay trees, Patio doors coming off one of the bedrooms and that farmhouse split door coming off the utility room at the back of the house. So if we just pan back into this room again, give you the panorama. You've got the further seating areas here, eating areas and the thing we haven't spoken to you about is this beauty which is your four oven arga. Further kettle on there for heating up on the arga. There's a further storage unit here and your Smeg fridge freezer. And now we're going to take you back through. The next room we're going to show you now is the downstairs toilet and bathroom. The only bedroom that would use this bathroom would be this one, which we'll take you into the minute. But in this room, which is just off the back corridor and kitchen, you've got your high level toilet, wash basin, and a low level bath with mixer taps. This window looks back out onto the courtyard that we just showed you from the kitchen. 
There are blinds in here to make it private. It's got a heated towel rail and some beach collections off the dresser on the top. So let's show you the bedroom which would actually mainly use that as its bathroom. This is a king size bed which was put in in 2019. Replaces the brass bed which was getting a little ropey towards the end of its life. This is painted oak. In this bedroom you've got a beautiful view going back into the small courtyard area. Keys are provided for this French window so it can be opened. Again you're looking out through roses and onto that beautiful flint wall at the back. Fig tree there is just about to come out. This gets the sun in the evening. The bed has two bed sides with lamps. We've also got a seating area in here. Two lovely winged armchairs giving you a coffee area and private seating area. And in that cupboard you have got a further TV if you wish to use it. Now one of the unique features of this bedroom is its ensuite utility room, which we have had comments on. This was originally going to be a further bathroom, but when it came to it, we could either put these utilities into the kitchen, which we thought wasn't particularly a great plan because of the noise that they throw off when it's an entertaining space. So we actually fitted this out as a utility room and storage area. So in here, you've got your dish, sorry, your washing machine, condenser tumble dryer, the cupboard there, you've got all your electrical appliance sockets, another butler sink in here, a boot store and a linen cupboard with some further storage. This can be used basically as a walk-in wardrobe for this room and a storage for all your luggage. You have got a small independent wardrobe in here for use with the drawers in the bottom of the TV cabinet. So that's bedroom one on the ground floor. We're now going to take you into bedroom two, which is the room with the four poster bed, which everybody likes. This has, again, king size bed, twin bed size with lamps. If we just rotate round now, we'll show you the wardrobe with chest of drawers underneath it and your TV and seats. And obviously this bedroom, as you just got a glimpse, has a ensuite shower and cast iron roll top bath. Panelled walls, if we just rotate round, heated towel rail, low level toilet and wash basin. Twin aspects with views out over the side of the cottage with the parking area and again through the roses in May onto the front of the house and the parking that extends up the front of the house. So we're coming back through the bathroom, through this bedroom and back onto the corridor and there is one remaining room to show you down here which is the lounge or snug area which is through these further French windows from the kitchen. And in this room, we've got two three-seater sofas and a two-seater sofa. That doorway goes back onto the entrance corridor and front door. Bookcase with loads of books, log burner. Logs are provided, some will be in the entrance porch and also there is a log store on the side of the house. And again, in this room, you've got uh, the third TV that we're gonna show you today with DVD player. So kids can come in here and watch telly. If that's too noisy, they can go through into one of the downstairs bedrooms with either their DV or TV. So there's plenty of room in this cottage for families to cook together, eat together, sit and entertain together and spend time generally together. So that's the downstairs of Gardener's Cottage. And we're next gonna have a walk upstairs and show you the three additional bedrooms and two bathrooms in the upstairs area. All right, we come down to the bottom of the stairs. Let's make our way up the staircase. And you're greeted on the top landing 
with this period pine dresser base. Plenty of storage there for your bits and bobs. Bit of vintage china. I'm just going to show you the view out the window here. So it looks down onto the courtyard. The houses behind. And then in the distance is Lakeney High Street, just to give you some feeling of where the cottage sits. That's a residence car park, just the side of it is the visitors car park. Let's take you through to one of the upstairs bedrooms. Now these bedrooms are set out as family rooms. So 2019 we fitted these out with a single bed. In addition to the king size French upholstered mast bed. So just coming back here to give you an aspect on this bedroom. Lovely size. Wooden floors flow throughout the upstairs of gardeners. This is giving families the maximum potential to choose how they're going to sleep, particularly if they've got young kids with them. You may like to sleep them in with them. These beds are very comfortable. The wardrobe is a low level wardrobe in the corner there. Plenty of drawers for storage, further seating areas. And this bedroom, if we walk through here, has an additional ensuite with a roll top bath, sink, low level toilet, walk in shower. It's actually a rain shower, very nice corner unit. Good shower that. Heated towel rail, further Lloyd looms for your comfort. Underfloor heating in all of these bathrooms upstairs. So if we leave this room, go back along the corridor. I'm going to show you now the further upstairs bathroom, which is shared by the remaining two bedrooms. If we go in here, you'll see we've got on the left, low level bath with panelling. And on the wall where we walked in, is a good shower with a shower screen on the side, making that usable as both a bath and a shower. We've got a towel rail here, low level toilet, wash basins, storage area, heated towel rail. And again, we've got underfloor heating in this room. Gonna take you into the smaller of the three upstairs bedrooms. This is on the southern aspect of the house. This is set up again as a family room with a single bed and this painted double bed. This isn't the king size, this is the only double in the house. Again, it sleeps three this room, got a seating area, views out over the garden, looking down over the patio area in the back of the house. So if we come back out through this bedroom, Along onto the corridor and if we turn left we then come down onto the largest of the family rooms kitted out with this most enormous painted tall English oak French bedstead. It's a king size bed again. I don't know whether you'll get an impression of the height of this. It's a whopper. You're almost three foot off the ground on that. You know you're on a nice bed when you're onto it. And then this room is fitted out with an additional two single beds under the eaves. Storage, wardrobe storage in the compartment there, built into the wall. You've got drawers on that side of your bed, a trunk, and also further seating area. And again, the windows here, dual aspect, south facing out the back overlooking the walled garden and on the other aspect you're overlooking the rooftops down onto your courtyard and with the car park and Blakeney High Street in the distance. So I'm hoping that's given you a good feel for the location and interior features of Gardener's Cottage here in Blakeney. We're now going to take you outside and give you a garden tour. I'm just going to start this garden tour off in the uh, rear courtyard. Unfortunately the weather's not too brilliant today. We're in May so the garden's looking very lush and green but the light's not brilliant. 
But we have got in this courtyard some beautiful roses that are early flowering. This is a May gold, it's just doing a thing. We've got a bird's nest in the corner there because there's been nobody in to disturb them. We've got a couple of bird's nests. Got one up there and a further one up here. Wisteria. Beautiful May gold. We've got rosemary. And we've got some bay leaf growing away here. And a fig tree that gives quite a bit of shade. This is a lovely sunny patio for use in the evenings. There is external lighting circuits here, which are switched on from the kitchen and give you the ability to use this way into the evenings. This is the bank's lacy eye rose on the front of the cottage. This is filmed 3rd of May. You'll just see it's absolutely popping. It's a very delicate rose, thanks Lucy Eye, and you've really got to get up close to appreciate it. But it is an absolute mass of these beautiful, tiny, pastel yellow clusters of rose blossom flowering all the way along the front of this cottage. As you'll hear in the background, I'm joined today by these two. Who aren't behaving themselves? One little bit, are you? Particularly the seven month old Vimarana puppy. Around the side of the house, you're onto the rear courtyard area with the barbecue, Chimera. We've got six reclining lounges here for guests to use. And the dining area and table with a smaller area just off the kitchen in the corner there. You see the walled garden feature on the back almost a 10 foot flint wall gives you the privacy in this area of gardeners and then under these shrubs you're into the wilderness area and the lawn area this is a mass of cyclamen in autumn on the back of the house you've got this wild bank area that runs amok with blue and white flowers i think that's borage and a good king john is it this quite characteristic coastal plant that grows around Blakeney, down all the verges and roadsides, naturalised itself in here. We've got some honesty seeded into the cyclamen beds under the weeping pear. And the back garden at Gardeners gives you this beautiful personal space in the centre of Blakeney to enjoy while you stay at the holiday cottage. <laughs> 